Ireland fans served up a surprise during their team's match with Georgia by launching tennis balls onto the field. Members of the Green Army support caused quite a racket at the Aviva Stadium, as they protested against FAI Executive Vice President John Delaney. Delaney stepped down from his role as chief executive last week, after coming under scrutiny over his running of the nation's governing body. The 51-year-old failed in his attempt to obtain a high court injunction to prevent the media revealing details of a £85,000 check he provided to the FAI but did not appeal in its accounts. It was announced after Ireland's narrow victory over Gibraltar that Delaney had resigned as CEO after 14 years in the role. Richard Keogh of Ireland removes a tennis ball thrown onto the pitch image, Getty Images Why Premier League clubs are not happy with FIFA's proposed Club World Cup Delaney's position has come under fire over the current state of the Irish FA, and now faces further questions over the nature of the loan. Whilst it is not uncommon for a loan of this nature, it is unusual for a company of the FAI's standing to be in such a financial state as to borrow from Mr Delaney. Furthermore, the Sunday Times reported that the FAI had been paying rent on Mr. Delany's house to the tune of £3,000. Ireland manager Mick McCarthy hoped that fans would not protest against Delany, but admitted he was powerless to stop it. Republic of Ireland fans in the stands hold up signs about Chief Executive of the Football Association of Ireland John Delany, image, PA, McCarthy said, I can't do anything about it. I'm not going to take a tennis racket with me. It's not going to help us play any better, that's for sure. I hope it's not the case and that we can overlook that. The fans want us to win and to give us the best chance at that, get behind us. They're the best fans, they're fabulous and I'd like them to support the team. If they have to demonstrate then I'd like if they do it somewhere else and at another time.